A quick note before we get started. This video may also answer the question for those of us who may be curious about Homari's products. Are they legitimate? How long does it take for the item to arrive? Is the product accurate to the images provided online? Admittedly, I was a bit skeptical after I submitted my payment using their online form as I did not receive a confirmation email right away that it was received or accepted. However, after three days I did receive the confirmation email followed by an order number which provided tracking and arrived only six days after. Personal experience tells me this proved of their legitimacy, and now I will cover the accuracy of what I received and how to set it up. I ordered the 60-inch modern convertible sofa bed with storage because the dimensions were perfect for my specific needs and the design was one of the simplest I had seen. With the exception of only a few parts needing to be resecured back onto the frame, and adding a handle to extend the bed easier, I would personally rate this sofa bed setup a 4.5 out of 5. Deduction of half points comes mostly from some slight imperfections but it also didn't help to have poorly written instructions. I'll agree with some of the reviews online showing the installation process was overall easy as most of it is already assembled for you, but I mean, this could be a bit more clear. For those who are like me and need specific details to get the job done, some of this just did not make sense. Why did they bother to label the screws and pieces in the form of letters on one side of the page only to not use those labels in the actual steps? Even if they did, it is fairly pixelated and too small to read for the average eye. Also, they didn't change the foreign language characters into English with the rest of the instructions. Even if this is easy to figure out without these instructions, I am here to save a few confusing minutes for others who may have bought this exact model sofa bed and want to make sure it is set up as beautifully as desired. The few things that mainly helped me to figure it out was another person pointing out to me the numbers by the screws in the steps boxes, saying the larger number meant larger size. So then I was able to make an educated guess for the first step that those were the longer or largest screws provided. Secondly, the biggest one was solving the confusion of which way the bar was supposed to be attached for step 2. The illustration does not show how it fits on and which screws to use, but seeing this part of the Homari video zoomed in thankfully gave it away. Here is how it is supposed to fit on, using all four smallest screws on the bottom corners of the bar and using two B-labeled screws on the top hole connecting to the frame. I then continued on by putting the legs together, with the wheels since that was pretty simple to accomplish. Those require the C-labeled screws which were the thinnest ones provided. The last parts one were personally able to complete myself and finish the process listed in steps 5 to 7. I suppose not much needed to be said here, but after the small struggles the sofa bed is done. I ended up with two leftover B screws with two rings and tighteners, but maybe those are spare parts. If anyone knows where the possibly spare screws belong please share the location in the comments. I genuinely hope this video was helpful to those interested in a Homari convertible sofa bed and how to install it with less confusion or issues. Thank you for watching.